Mercury retrograde is upon us, it is almost over. It is almost coming to its completion. When a planet retrogrades, all it's doing is completing its cycle around the sun, which to us looks like it's moving backwards in the sky. And it's a time for completion, and it's also a time for reflection. And with this trickster energy that Mercury, Hermes, so there is such wisdom in the trickery. So if you have been feeling stagnant or stuck, needing to move, right? Needing to flow, that trickster energy is needed because it shakes up the chaos. It stirs up the pot. Ironically, it's kind of a fire energy, which is the cross from Libra, right? That Aries essence. So we have right now the encouragement to stir the pot a little bit, to get a little controversial, to get as authentic as you possibly can. Mercury retrograde is already very personal, but now it's even more so personal because we also have our sun, moon, and Mars conjuncting with Mercury in this beautiful stellium, what is referred to when three or more planets are sort of in a snuggle puddle in a sign. There is this possibility that there will be some social upset, some social discord, social anxiety, but it's a great opportunity to overcome that if you are someone who gets socially anxious or afraid of conflict. But the truth of humanity is that if you're going to be your most authentic self, if you're going to let your energy shine through, not everyone is going to be happy about it. And that's okay. If you are experiencing any technical difficulties, miscommunications, moments of social anxiety, I invite you to breathe and remember balance. So when we're learning about ourselves through these social interactions and our relationships, not just with other people, but other energies in general, there is a great need to keep moving, keep pushing. Do your best to acknowledge, of course, and respect other people's boundaries and your own. But recognize that even creating a boundary, going from chaos to a bit of more control and facilitation of the energy sometimes requires shaking things up and that's okay. And that's perfect because it gets things moving. It's like starting a car and you have the parking brake on and it's like, you know, take off the parking brake and go and trust that you know, and your spirit knows the direction that you're moving in. There's a lot of trust involved in balancing, right? Because to balance, you've got to trust your body, you've got to trust your mind, your heart, and of course your soul. Again, establishing, recognizing boundaries, we have our sun in Libra making a 150 degree angle to Uranus retrograde in Taurus. It's that feeling of re revolutionizing what it means to feel safe on this plane. And everyone's sense of safety and stability looks different. And so with the Sun and Libra, again, there's that energy of wanting to create a cohesive environment for everyone. But that starts with yourself, right? You are the host of your energy field. Own it, own your energy. It is yours, it is your essence tapping into your feelings. What resonates, what doesn't? I will mention too that because Libra and Taurus are both ruled by the lovely goddess Venus, we actively choose to create beauty and value, especially in our relationships. It's a great challenge too, I'm not gonna lie, it's hard as heavens. Like it's difficult to bring this energy forth into the physical because there are moments right in your relationships and in your energy exchanges where people are not so beautiful. Situations are not so beautiful, they are scary, they are ugly. And with Libra and Taurus both playing with the retrograde energies and this aspect of what it means to be human and what it means to shine your authentic light, we in every moment have the opportunity to choose to see beauty in the situation, to see clarity, to put value to something and find the deeper meaning. Breathe and remember there is wisdom in the trickery and every moment you have the opportunity to create beauty and value actively because your perspective creates your reality. You're a co-creator with the creator moving forward. And I love this photo because it just represents to me this unconditional sense of like self-love and compassion in reflecting with others. So alongside Mercury retrograde in Libra, this is making a 150 degree angle to Neptune retrograde in Pisces. And this can also be incredibly challenging because Mercury is our conscious mind. It is the awakened mind, the forefront. Neptune is the subconscious. Many modern astrologers also say that Neptune rules technology. While Mercury does rule communications and affects technology and can do all kinds of crazy stuff, it's even more so amplified now because we have a blind spot between our conscious communication and our subconscious need to see, our need to be seen, our need to be 
felt and to feel. And if we are ignoring those needs, Mercury is gonna kind of yank you by the pants, if you will. Like, <laughs> you know, that's a weird phrase, but that's just what came to me. So there's this conscious discernment that we're focusing on between the conscious and the subconscious. And where am I getting triggered? Where am I seeing myself in others and projecting onto them rather than using them as a mirror, a sacred mirror. Again, this is why I love this picture because it's water, it's nature, which is essentially all of us, right? We're all water, we're all nature. And the best way to hone in is to recognize that everyone and everything in your life is a reflection of you. And again, it's not easy, but it's important to acknowledge. And with Mercury stirring the pot, and there are times when people get turbulent and chaotic and muddy, and that is perfect. One, all of life is relationship and all of life is energy exchange. Even your breathing in and out, you are essentially relating to the trees and resonating with the trees and the plants when you breathe, right? It's that oxygen exchange. So there's compassion and self-love that is needed here. This is the remedy for all these possible turmoiled situations. I find that being kind to my tech, especially during Mercury retrograde, is a great practice because it's a super safe way to practice being kind to others because you're not worried about the tech judging you. You're not worried about it getting mad at you. You are just practicing active love and compassion instead of being like, oh, you piece of you're going, you're struggling here. This hard drive feels like it's working a little hard today. How about we like take a break and just practice that dialogue. And in that way, you kind of are reflecting it back at yourself too, right? Because even your technology is a reflection of you. And remember, these screens are crystal. So there is magic here. I have learned so much more to appreciate the technology that I have, partially because once you start doing it, there's no stopping it. So I encourage you all to invoke these practices. Also, I will mention as far as self-love and reflections go, when it starts with yourself, just looking at yourself in the mirror and saying, I love you, seeing your eyes, right? Eye gazing with yourself. And that also makes it much easier than to have compassion and self-love because then you recognize you're like, oh, that's my wound in them too. Like it's, we share that essence. And although we have different filters of experience through which we experiencing the same energy is the same lessons it's just different criteria different itineraries of life and so i encourage you guys to try that out and practice and it is not easy but again that's why it's a practice so that's the astrology enjoy <laughs>